the China Sea. Boats dotted the ocean. On one particular boat sat a Chinese man and the missionary Hudson Taylor. But it is not enough to just think of Jesus. You need to accept him into your heart, said Hudson. The Chinese man replied, I just don't know if I'm ready yet. Perhaps I'll decide when I can preach at Song Kao. As if on cue, a shout rang out from the boat, I can see Song Kao. As Hudson turned to get his tracks and books ready for preaching on shore, he heard a splash, followed by a scream. Quickly realizing that a man had fallen overboard, he dove into the dark, murky water. Searching frantically for the man, he discovered that it was the same person he had just been talking to. He's not ready to die. Just then, he spotted a large fishing boat. Let down your nets over here. There is a man drowning. The fisherman just stared at him. It's not convenient, said the lumberman easily. Convenience? What are you talking about? A man is drowning. We are too busy thinking. We will lose a lot of time and money. I will give you money, all the money I have. Just please, please come quickly. The fisherman finally agreed, and the man was soon brought up, dead. After trying to revive him, Hudson paid the greedy men and collapsed in despair. These men were guilty of another man's death because they were only thinking of themselves. Then Hudson had another thought. How many Christians do the same? How many? are too busy to share the gospel. How many are too busy fishing? In this true story, Hudson Taylor was pleading with the fishermen to let go of their fishing and use their nets to save a life. In the same way, God is pleading with us to let go of our spiritual apathy and help him save lives. Jesus does exactly this when he tells Peter and Andrew in Matthew 4, 19, come, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. You see, Jesus was asking them to drop their physical nets and cast their spiritual ones. Yes. He is telling us to do the same. We need to drop whatever distracts us from helping others know him. One thing I try to drop is my popularity net, and I try to hang out with a kid who doesn't have many friends. Also, I can easily give some money to the missionary at church instead of buying a new shirt. But what I don't want to do is be too busy to share my faith. Because I know people are going to die in sin if I don't do something. It's good. Here are some things that we can all do. Number one, you must see the need. Right now, God has put someone in your life that needs him. Think about it. According to Matthew 13, 42, because of people's sin, they will be thrown into a blazing furnace. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I tell you this because there are so many people in dire need of a Savior. And we have a solution. His name is Jesus Christ. All we need to do is see the need. Number two, we must look for opportunities. The Bible makes it clear in Ezekiel 3.18 that if we don't share the gospel and someone dies that we could have reached, we are held responsible for their death. God holds us accountable for others, and he actually places people into our lives that he wants us to reach out to. Number three, we must act now. Right now, um, listen to Rich's story. Rich was a Christian in college, and God kept telling him to share the gospel with the guy down the hall. Rich just kept ignoring God until finally, one day, he went to the guy's room. His roommate came to the door and told him something he would never forget. The guy had just been killed in a car accident only two days before. Notice the difference between Rich and the Apostle Peter. Rich waited a few days, while Peter, as soon as he saw the chance, jumped at the opportunity. Let's be like Peter and act now in response to the unsaved people in our lives. In closing, I challenge you to pray to God to give you visions of all those in need. And whether you're at school, with friends, or at work, be intentional for seeking people to share your faith. Let's be challenged to act now because there's still time for you to save a life.